right, we've got another function on the board that is a bunch of pieces connected by multiplication and division. So we're going to find y prime using logarithmic differentiation. And I think now that we've explained the process, just working through it should be a little bit faster. So I know I want to take the log, but I can't take the log of anything that's negative. And this is sometimes negative. So I'm going to first of all take the absolute value. And I know that I can distribute that absolute value to each piece. Now, not only is e to the x never negative, but its base e is always positive as well. So I don't need an absolute value there, but I'll need an absolute value here. For the absolute value of x cubed, I can apply the absolute value to the base and then cube it. Same thing for secant cubed. Okay. So last time I took the absolute value and then I distributed it to each factor and then I applied it to the base of any powers. Here I just did that all in one step. Okay. Now I'm going to take the natural log of the absolute value of y and that's going to equal the natural log of this whole thing. But I know that using my sum and difference rules I can say that's the natural log of e to the x plus the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log of x. And I'm sorry, I'm using my product and quotient rules, not my sum and difference rules. I'm breaking these products and quotients into sums and differences of logs. These two factors were on the bottom, so I'm going to subtract the logs for those pieces. So minus natural log of absolute value of x cubed, minus the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x cubed. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my power rule. Now here, I can think of this one of two ways. I can either just say, hey, the natural log of e to the x, that's just x. That's a composition of inverse functions. If I prefer, I can say the natural log of e to the x, I can apply that power rule, and that's x times the natural log of e, but the natural log of e is just 1. Either way, this piece is going to simplify to x plus ln absolute value of ln of x minus, I'll bring that power down, 3 ln of absolute value of x, bring this next power down, minus 3 ln absolute value of secant of x. Okay, that was still the natural log of the absolute value of y. Now let's apply the derivative to both sides. Okay. Now, just because I don't want to have to copy this again, I'm just going to write in, in red here, that I'm now taking the derivative of both sides. One notational thing, the operator always goes before the function. I sometimes see people try to put a d by dx at the end. It's not like multiplication. It doesn't commute. I'm going to do this to that. It's not that this will be done to that. The operator goes first. OK. So here we get 1 over y, y prime. Here, the derivative of x is 1. Oops. Here, the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of something is the reciprocal of that thing times the derivative of the natural log of x. Now, I'm going to actually write that in. We may start be starting to get comfortable enough with chain rule that you feel comfortable going right to 1 over x instead of writing in the d by dx. And that's fine if you are. Minus 3 times the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of x is 1 over x, minus 3 times the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x is 1 over secant of x, and then times the derivative of secant of x. Okay, so I'm going to come back and evaluate those d by dx's. Again, if you felt comfortable doing that at the same time as you did this, that's fine. 1 over y, y prime is 1, plus 1 over the natural log of x. The derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. So that's going to put another x in the denominator, and I'm just going to put that in front of the ln. Minus 3 over x, minus 3 over secant of x, and then the derivative of secant is secant of x times tangent of x. And I can go ahead and cancel that secant. Secant of x is never zero, so I'm not losing any information about restrictions on the domain. 
And so then I'm going to just multiply both sides by y. Again, let me just indicate that in a different color here. So we will have y prime is 1 plus 1 over x ln x minus 3 over x minus 3 tan x. And that entire quantity, that whole thing in brackets, gets multiplied by y. And y was just e to the x ln x over x cubed secant cubed x. Okay, excellent.